so that's what we'll do. All right. Cool. cool. So this is Scott from Coffee Props. Thanks for listening. We're here with Dale, and Dale is with High Octane in Austintown, Ohio, and you'll find him on Instagram, High Octane dot Austintown, A U S T I N Town. And uh, Dale, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. So Dale, tell us, what is it, the story that brings you to coffee? Uh, the story of what brings me to coffee. It starts back about five years ago um, when I was attending college at Mount Union. My roommate at the time, who was also my best friend from high school, his father was opening a coffee shop in downtown Youngstown called Joe Max Coffee. So he asked me if I wanted to be a part of that just to help get things going and I said yeah that sounds like fun. So at this point I had no knowledge about coffee other than I like to drink cold coffee okay. and that's about all I knew. Cold coffee. Um, so I started working with them back in uh, about 2012 and they were just getting going off the ground so it was cool to kind of see a business come together and, and see some of the, the different challenges that come up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I worked there downtown. I fell in love with the scene of crafting coffee, of uh, talking to people in the morning, trying to get their day started and things like that. So yeah, it was yeah. it was cool. I've been to Joe Max downtown Youngstown. It's a it's a cool shop, and they're they're expanding as well. Now, I, I have to let the listeners know. Usually, I do these phone these uh, interviews by phone, but we are on location. Uh, if you hear road noise, there's a reason for that. They are very strategically located um, in a couple of ways, right? You're right, you're right off uh, Route 80. Right, right at the interchange of Route 80 and Route 46 in Austin Town. And you're also right across the street from another coffee shop. Correct. Right? A Starbucks. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. And you've got uh, a drive through Yes, we do. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, Tell us what it's like. Now, you, you just opened a couple months ago? Yeah, it was actually just a month ago um, that we had our grand opening, and then we were soft open for about two or three weeks before that, just getting yeah. some practice. So right. it's been about a month and a half now that, that we've been here up and running. So and it's, an, it's a really cool theme because you are located in a plaza on the end of a, of a gas station. Correct. What a, what a cool... I mean... I have sat here, and I have to admit, I've sat outside of Starbucks mm -hmm. before this place, and I've seen some of the greatest cars and motorcycles going by. So this is a really cool location. Absolutely. Um, and so, so you joined High Octane in they're they're currently in Canfield, yes, Ohio, uh, by the name of High Octane right. on Instagram. So you separate yourself as High Octane dot. Austin town yeah and so high octane is is expanding and and getting the coffee thing going around in the absolutely, area absolutely yeah it's great yeah and this is a great location like you mentioned with the cars coming in and out we see a lot of travelers come in so it's always fun to talk to people my first question for a new customer is always oh are you from around here or are you traveling um, and a lot of people seem surprised, like, how did you know that I'm not from around here? Do, do I look like it? And I say, no, no, it's not that. It's, it's the fact that we're right off the highway. And, and there's so many people coming from Chicago, Wisconsin, Michigan. They're going to New York. They're going to Cape Cod. So it's cool just to ask them, where are you going? What yeah. are you up to? Um, you end up hearing a lot of cool stories. And people love to talk about themselves. So it's cool when you can kind of pull that out of them, help them wake up in the morning. Um, yeah. I feel like that's part of the barista's job. Sure, we make the coffee and, and we get you going in that sense, but we also like to have a good connection with our customers and give them a reason to come back and give them a reason to, to feel awake and, and yeah. things like that. So. Well, you know, and I came here early, came into the shop, and I saw you interact with a customer. And you asked a question that was... Uh, it, that it illustrates that very thing. You know, what else you got going today? Or, you know... You got anything exciting going going on today? It's just a, it's that's the sort of thing that sets a third wave coffee apart to me is um, engaging in people's lives. Mm. You know, not just making them their coffee and right. saying, "Okay, here you go." Yeah. All right. So, if you had to do anything, 
if there's anything about the coffee industry that you would change mm. as you think about your current journey right all the way from college to working in a shop to owning a shop now and running it um, is there anything that you would change what would you change about the market in general um, I don't know I think I would I would try to find a way to get more people interested in trying new things with coffee. I find a lot of times that people just stick with what they know and what they're used to, whether it's a f blended frappuccino or you know something with a ton of flavor and sugar added to it, which there's nothing wrong with that because right. coffee is very personal. Everybody likes it their own way. But at the same time, I wish that there was an easy way to introduce everybody to the fact that there's a ton of different ways to enjoy coffee, whether you pour it over ice cream or you right. add it to a milkshake or you know you do a cortado, which people around here have no clue what that is. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. Well, for those listening who don't know what a cortado is, why don't you yeah. tell us what that is? A cortado, um, it's similar to a latte. Of course, a latte would be your shots of espresso and steamed milk with a thin layer of foam on top. The cortado um, has more of an equal ratio with the espresso and the milk. So it's going to have, it's going to be a smaller drink volume but it's gonna have more of a flavorful coffee taste with just a little bit of that milk, a little bit of that sweetness to add to it. Um, so in a way, it's, it's like a smaller version of a latte that'll give you a little bit more taste of the coffee if that's what you're looking for. Right. Um, yeah, so. Uh, Cortado is one of my favorite drinks. Okay. That's, uh, I usually order it with a little bit of cinnamon. Okay, yeah, that sounds so, good. So kind of a Christmas sort of thing for me. I right. Don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, what do you love most about the coffee industry? Uh, what I love most about the coffee industry, I just have to go back to talking about customers and interactions. Um, you know, I've had people tell me that, you know, they love coming in just to have a conversation. Um, I've had people tell me that they feel like this place is similar to a bar. They come here after work and they hang out, they watch TV, they listen to the music. Um, so making coffee, it's so much fun to me. Um, running a store and, and facilitating and, you know, branching out duties and things like that. That's fun too, but what I love most is just meeting people and talking to them, like I said, hearing their story, um, because I personally believe that you can learn something from every person that you meet yeah. as long as your ears are open. Yeah. Um, so, so we like to reflect that here, um, and we want people to have a lasting impression that this is a place where you know you can have good conversation and you know you don't have to worry about a lot of coffee shops will kind of turn their nose up if you don't know how to order something correctly <laughs> or you right. call it the wrong name, and and we don't do that here. We're we're on the same side as the customers. And, and we, we like to help them find what they like and, you know, challenge them to try new things. So That's sweet. Yeah. Very good. What, uh, what's your next, um, like, are you working toward a latte art of some sort? Hmm. And before we did the interview, uh, yeah. who was it? Um, uh, Kayla. Kayla showed you a, a picture on Instagram. So are, do you consider yourself... Uh, yeah, a professional in regard to the latte art? I don't know if I would consider myself a professional just yet. Um, I've definitely been practicing and watching a lot of tutorials and, and trying to learn different methods. Um, I can do a few things with latte art, but nothing nothing too extravagant. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely trying to challenge myself a little bit more. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, you know, when I worked at Starbucks for a year and a half, I ended up being the barista champion at my store in Boardman, and then I went on to the district level championship at Grove City, and I took second place for the overall championship okay. and for the latte art. Nice. Um, so definitely okay. I've come a long way since when I started, but I definitely have a lot of room for improvement at the same time. I would consider you a, a, an expert, an ex a <laughs> professional. Well, thank you. Well, uh, okay, so as we bring this to a close, and you've got, what is it, raspberry? Yes, this turnover? is a raspberry cream cheese croissant. I, I really feel bad for those of you listening because I'm looking at this. We're going to dive into it as soon as we're done here. <laughs> but um, before we close this out, what is your favorite all-time coffee drink? 
My favorite all-time coffee drink, I would say simply a black nitro cold brew. That would be okay. my favorite drink. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes, the nitro is just, that's an amazing espresso nitro coffee black. Yep. Yeah, good. That's it. And what about you? What's your favorite? Cortado. Cortado? That's, that cinnamon Cortado that we talked about. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Absolutely. But it's, I've decided to just, instead of saying, oh, I have so many of them, because I do. Right. Uh, to make it just a quick answer, Cortado. Cortado. If I had to choose. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right. Well, thanks, Dale. I appreciate yeah. you sharing this time and uh, wish you the best. Thank you. And thanks for coming out.